Welcome back to our sustainable gardening series. In today's episode, we delve into a crucial aspect of any garden, soil health. The well-being of your garden starts from the ground up, with soil that supports plant life, not just by providing a physical base, but by acting as a dynamic ecosystem that nurtures and sustains growth. Soil health is foundational to any successful garden. Its structure, nutrient content, and the biological life it supports are all critical for healthy plant growth. Let's start with soil structure, a key characteristic that influences how well your garden thrives. Ideal soil should be loose and crumbly, allowing for deep root penetration and even water distribution. This type of structure ensures that roots can access the nutrients and water they need without struggling through compacted dirt. To improve your soil's structure, incorporating organic matter is essential. Materials like compost or leaf mold not only break up dense soil to improve aeration and drainage, but also boost its fertility. Organic matter acts like a sponge, retaining water where it's needed and draining excess, which prevents plant roots from becoming waterlogged. Moving on to nutrient management, which is just as vital, plants require a diverse range of nutrients to flourish, each playing a different role in their growth and development. Keeping these nutrients balanced is critical. Too much or too little of one can lead to poor plant health and reduced resistance to diseases and pests. Regular soil tests can be a gardener's best tool, providing insights into what your soil might be lacking or what it has in excess. Based on these results, you can amend your soil with organic fertilizers that release nutrients slowly and maintain a balanced soil ecosystem. Furthermore, soil is much more than just dirt. It's a bustling micro-world populated by bacteria, fungi, worms, and countless other microorganisms. These inhabitants are crucial for healthy soil. They break down organic matter, fix nitrogen from the air into the soil, and create symbiotic relationships with plant roots that help absorb nutrients. Encouraging this biological activity is a cornerstone of sustainable gardening. Practices like crop rotation, reduced tillage, and planting cover crops not only support these beneficial organisms, but also improve the overall health of the soil. Crop rotation prevents the depletion of specific nutrients. Reduced tillage helps preserve the soil structure and microbial habitats, and cover crops protect the soil from erosion while adding organic matter. Each of these practices plays a part in creating a sustainable garden that requires fewer inputs in terms of fertilizers and pest controls. By nurturing healthy soil, you do more than just enhance your garden's productivity. You also contribute positively to the environment. Healthy soils play a key role in carbon sequestration, capturing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and helping to mitigate the effects of climate change. The more vibrant and biologically active your garden's soil is, the more carbon it can store. As we conclude this episode, remember that each decision you make about how to manage your soil can have a profound impact not only on your garden, but also on the broader environmental system. Healthy soil leads to healthy plants and a healthy planet. Thank you for tuning in today, and I hope you join us again as we continue to explore sustainable practices that benefit both our gardens and the earth. Your efforts in the garden can lead to significant ecological benefits, promoting a more sustainable and resilient environment. Join us next time as we explore more aspects of sustainable gardening, helping you to cultivate a garden that thrives naturally and sustainably. Let's keep growing our understanding and our gardens together.